Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty excited to announce that we are starting or continuing the series of sound design tutorials. But we're gonna change a little bit because I wanna be posting one sound design tutorial every single week. A video consisting of some really interesting sound design techniques, things I discovered because I'm making tracks every single week and I make sounds every single week. So I make some cool sounds, some interesting sounds, some creative sounds, and I'm just, I just can't keep them to myself. I cannot keep them to myself without sharing them to other people. And I do that usually on my Instagram you can see that I post some techniques and tricks on my stories and on my as a post so since today I'm gonna be doing sound design tutorials every single week so let me know in the comments do you like it are you hyped because I'm kind of hyped so today on the table we are having a kind of like a gunshot sound you probably heard this in some of the really super heavy dubstep or trap songs it's a really sick sound and I really love how the way you can make this sound is really cool we are turning a percussion sound into a gunshot and it sounds completely awesome and I bet we can put other sounds in this and it's gonna sound insanely cool too so the sound we are gonna be working with today is gonna be this sound with a couple of variations so let me play you this one first super heavy then we are having a gunshot like this it's like a clicky sound works really good as a layer so these sounds together Super sick. And then another variation. So I'm gonna show you a basis of this and then I'm gonna show you like just with some couple of other effects and how they work and why they work. And we're gonna do this. Oh yeah. And a kind of smooth out version. Also this version. Kind of like a monster and this one. With like a lot of movement so this is what it sounds like. like i just put a drum loop underneath that to show you like oh this is like what, what's gonna sound like if you add a drum to it not the best but like pretty cool for a reference so we're gonna focus on this one first so let me disable every single effect and let me show you what the sound is. Yep, it's a percussion sound. Thank you. To get rid of the low end. So the big part of this effect rack is a frequency shifter. Basically what it does is like, check this out. You have frequencies and then you can just shift them. What's cool about frequency shifter is that it creates the low end that wasn't there. That's cool. As you can hear, we got like a clicky sound, percussive one, and there's also some sub bass appeared because of that. I'm gonna put this EQ here actually. See, we got some low end. Then the next frequency shifter. And putting this one higher, doesn't really matter now. Then we have soothe. To get rid of these resonances, we get like a smooth tone of it. Then uh, transient master. What we are doing is that we are turning the sustain down, which means that this sound is getting even more percussive. Then we are using a frequency shifter. One more gets even more percussive. It doesn't really matter right now, like what we are doing with the frequency shifting, but then I'm gonna just turn this off and you'll see that it actually makes a huge difference. So then what is really sick about this rack is the formant filter. So I have three formant filters. Each of them is gonna work and create different sounds later on. Yeah, this one. What we're doing is we're using a formant filter to kind of create a really huge spike in frequencies, like really high resonance, super annoying, like normally you don't want this in your tracks, but in this case, it's a sound design session. We are doing everything we shouldn't be doing. So as you can see, this resonance popped up here. So we can move it around to, let me show you. As you can see, like two resonances popped up and they are moving. So here sounds pretty good. The Q is the strength of these. So they are getting like sharper and louder if we bump it up. So just finding a sweet spot. In this case, this one works pretty well. So then we are using texture just to add like, um, 
like a white noisy spike on top just so to have like a clean top end then we are OTTing this one's a big one it makes the sound smoother and it just makes it hit harder right this resonance is being squashed and we are getting like more more of a sub so thermal is a distortion here mainly multi-band distortion here wave shaper compression we get this sound uh, then another ott So then disperser and that's cool because it makes it kind of like Then vocoder oh, It just makes it hit hard, there's not much to it uh, I'm just decreasing the formants and the depth Then utility only is here because there's like a Like a twang twang What's cool here is that I was actually making the sound on the monitors I have here and when I was listening to the sound it was like super sick, super hard hitting but when I listened on to it on headphones it was kind of flat so I used Valhalla room and I tried to kind of add the same room as I was hearing in my room so to kind of simulate this room Yeah, and it does create that room effect. It makes us just bigger and hit harder. Kind of blend together. So yeah, that's the sound. Now I'm gonna show you how these form and shifting ones affect the sound. So they are on a different position. So this one. And this one. And then this one. super good if you want to add like a human element to it make it kind of like like a vowel so let's take a look at frequency shifters how they affect the sound being at the beginning of the chain they kind of make it not work so then i put a gun shot i put them here because i want to kind of to actually have some something of a gun shot Something like that, nothing simple. Then again, frequency shifting. I just copied the same rack, so soon. Transit master, frequency shifter, OTT, thermal, OTT, vocoder. And there we go. When we layer that together. That's great so let's go to another sound which is i mean the same sound but it has uh, a bit of effects i separated them so it's easier to look at this is what we ended up with so now just went for adding some effects like additional effects to make some different sounds uh erosion for like a kind of burning feeling on top so i have here another form in the filter and this one, as you can see, has an automation on it. And also here, this frequency shifter is being automated. So as you can hear, like it's going from up like ta -ta 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 -ta. resonator. But I'm using this resonator to smooth out the other effect. Smooths it out kind of. I just put this chorus here because it kind of gives like tick, 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 a kind of cool, really rhythm. Like at this point, you can really put different effects inside the rack and just like get some really sick, interesting sounds. You never know what's gonna happen. Then a little alter boy and some frequency shifting additional. I don't know, I just decreased the formants and it kind of sounds like a monster, that's kind of cool. So now let's try to change the sound and take uh, like, um, I'm gonna even go pretty extreme. Noise. Kind of still works. Let me do a percussive noise. Oh yeah. <laughs> it does work still. Holy moly, <laughs> how the hell? Okay, so let's try vocal. Ooh. 
So, seems like we can actually put everything here. Even the white noise works, which is kind of like a bit surprising. Wow. If you want to get this effect right for free, I'm gonna put it up on the website. Uh, link is in the description. Shit, it actually turns every single sound into that. Really sick gunshot. Let me know what you think. Next time, next week, we're gonna probably do some color-based thing, because I recently discovered vocoder. I don't know why I wasn't using vocoder before. You can make really sick sounds with it. Actually, I have these here, let me. Super clean, super soft. They have a texture I've been looking for years. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, we can cite in that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets and free sounds.